the previous model we worked on was based on just the total sales revenue and the more that increased the more your labor increased in almost a sort of direct correlation imagine like a straight line on a graph but we know that that's not really reflective of what actually happens in a business you need to have a set cost that is never going to get lower than no matter who walks through the door you're going to have a certain amount being spent on labor and then as you start increasing that you need that, that graph to go up in line with the sales definitely but then when you get to a certain point where actually you don't need too much more when you're taking the really high sales. So actually it looks more like an S-shaped curve at this point rather than that sort of direct correlation. And we're able to build that model and that benchmark using Click and the way that we've been able to get all the data involved in there to understand it and get it right for all the teams. So the impact of that has been pretty big for the teams and sites to understand why they've got these numbers and why they've got these benchmarks and they can actually appreciate while we're being allowed this this starting figure so if we have a, a week that doesn't go as expected we we knew that we still need to have a bit of a higher labor figure in there but it's a two-way street so that when we start making those higher sales they can react a bit more and be a bit more efficient with their processes as expected